Hi. How long have you been standing here? I just got here a minute ago. Hmm. Time to see you save the damsel in distress. Well, she was gonna keel over if I didn't help no, her with that blanket. No, very gentlemanly of you. How old do you think she was, like 15 or something? 16, tops. And she has a huge responsibility ahead of her. Seriously, I mean, that's how old my mother was when she had me. And it blows your mind to see <laughs> I mean, a girl that age with the courage to handle motherhood. So Lucky and I have been going through Judge Carroll's personal life and professional life with a fine-tooth comb, and we have nothing. The guy is clean. What about, um... Jax and Claire, have they found anything? No, not yet, but we're still trying. We're not going to get Michael out as soon as we'd hoped. I went to see him and told him that. Uh, how did he take it? Oh, well, uh, apparently Sonny had already been there to pay him a visit. <laughs> He's already filled Michael's head with promises that Dad's going to handle the whole thing. You don't think that could be true? I think Sonny needs to believe that so he can sleep at night. What if Sonny really has a plan? Then that could be, like, the worst thing possible for Michael. If he gets him out of Pentonville, that'll prove that when all else fails, the family business comes through. Isn't that what's happening? Jason's going to prison to keep Michael safe? Yeah. I mean, whatever I think about Jason, he is protecting Michael, which is more than I've done. Well, you know, don't worry. You'll think of something. Yeah. Just no matter what I've done, I just seem to make matters worse. that I'm picking up her steamed broccoli and rice right now. If the photographer calls, uh, I'll call him back tomorrow. Okay. Hey. Hey. How are you? Um, counting the minutes till 3 o'clock? That's when Jason turns himself in. I go to prison to be with Michael. It's an unbelievable sacrifice. Yeah. And I'm torn. You know? Relieved that Michael's gonna be okay and horrified that Jason's going to prison. Well, at least Jason knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. I'm more worried about myself. How's that for being selfish? My best friend's going to prison for God knows how long, and all I can think about is what am I gonna do without him? What if I need him? Anyway, the only thing getting me through this is knowing Michael's going to be okay and protected. I know Jason will do that for me. Take away with you if you want. I thought you had to get lunch for Kate. Oh, Kate will survive uh, extra minutes. It's not... I mean, unless you wanted to wait alone. No, stay. I could use the distraction. I know that I've told you before... But I, I honestly can't say it enough how terrible Dante and I feel about Michael in prison. And if it's any consolation, Dante is working overtime trying to get Michael released. We all are. I know, I know. I just know that Dante feels responsible. I mean, I just met him in the park, and that was all that he could talk about. And I wanted to console him, but, you know, i am just... My mind's been on other things. Grimson? Kate's still being a slave? No, no, it's not. It's something in the park. It doesn't even matter. It's so minor compared to Michael. I told you Michael. I could use a distraction. Just tell me what's going on. <laughs> there was this um, pregnant teenager in the park, and Dante was chatting her up and helping her pick up her stuff. And after she left, he made this comment about how... It took courage to have a baby at her age. I'm guessing you still haven't told Dante that you had an abortion when you were nice. I don't know how to tell him. But when I do, it will completely change how he feels about me. 